Trump went after Kaylee McEnany really aggressively last night. Kaylee was sitting in, I believe, for Laura Ingram on Fox News. And many of you will remember and recall, Kaylee was among the most steadfast Trump defenders on the planet as Trump's White House press secretary. Buck, is it fair to say, in terms of public employees, that Kaylee would have to be one of the 10 most loyal Trump uh, Trump White House members in terms of having, again, public jobs where you would go out and argue on behalf of the Trump administration. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and she, unlike many of the people, particularly in the uh, in the comm side uh, of the White House and the uh, strategic communication side uh, is has remained loyal to both Trump personally and to the policies uh, that he pursued as president without fail, including in the weeks after the 2020 election and uh, after January 6th, too. It, she could have very easily tried to do what some others have done, which is turn their back on Trump and try to leverage those moments for gain in the media. She didn't do that. Uh, you and I both know, Kaylee, we are not unbiased in this uh, conversation insofar as uh, we both think highly of Kaylee. So, yeah, we think highly of Trump in some ways, but some days lately I'm getting a little frustrated. And I'm, tr I'm trying to just be fair about all of this because I want this, Clay, for everyone to feel like, you know, throughout the primary, this is their family dinner table. People are going to disagree. People are going to call in. They're going to email us. They're going to like some things that we're sharing on the air. They're going to disagree with some assessments and analysis. That's fine. It's a primary. That's going to happen. But there are things that also can happen. You go, well, hold on a second. What's, what's that all about? Come on. You know, like, knock it off. Have you, do you want to tell everybody what the, what the, uh, the truth social? Yeah. And I'm pulling it up right now to make sure. So for, and I understand a lot of people out there are not in sort of the social media ecosystem. You're not looking at what Trump says or what somebody else says back and forth on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. Uh, but here is what he said, uh, Tuesday last night, he said, Kaylee, Milk Toast McEnany, and by the way, Milk Toast is not spelled milk and toast, our, our, <laughs> which is how Trump spelled it, just gave out the wrong poll numbers on Fox News. I am 34 points up on DeSanctimonious, not 25. While 25 is great, it's not 34. She knew the number was corrected upwards by the group that did the poll, the rhinos and globalists can have her. Fox News should only use all caps, real stars. Uh, okay, so now the poll that Kaylee cited is a real poll. So uh, you and I have seen the poll that she cited. And she wasn't taking a an analytic position on the... She wasn't saying this poll shows that Trump... She was just saying, look, there's a poll out that says... Uh, look, I mean, you know, people can say whatever they want. They can justify it a million ways. It's an unnecessary cheap shot, and it was a bad look. Bad look. It's just, it's just not something that the, there's so much to fight against on the other side. There's so much to point out of the failures of the Biden regime. There's so much to talk about for what Trump would want to do in the future. You're going to take a cheap shot at Kaylee over nothing. It, she, it'd be one thing if she started. And anyone who tells me in the in the Twitter comments, or whatever, oh, she, she did not. She read a poll. And the poll was very favorable for Trump. 25 versus 34. It's a big lead either direction. And the poll she cited was accurate. And here's the thing. If you are going, and it ties into me with the, the Pence argument and also the Ron DeSantis argument. If you are going to argue that Ron DeSantis is being disloyal to you by running for president of the United States, how in the world can anyone out there with a functional brain not say, you just attacked your press secretary who defended you more zealously than almost anyone on the planet for, first of all, accurately reporting on a poll that showed that you were up 25 points 
loyalty is a one-way street to Donald Trump. That's fine, but don't lecture us that this is some sort of transgression of a um, uh, indescribable magnitude that that DeSantis is running for president. So I can say this also. Um, I'm seeing this, and and I and I put this out there. We'll always, you know, if someone uh, listening disagrees with this and they want to have a, a we, we we all need to be respectful of each other all the time. I would be curious to hear how this isn't. Um, just based on the logic of, of argument and argumentation, how this isn't a problem. I see people saying it's a primary, anything goes to justify whatever Trump says. And I'll see some of the same people say, how dare Ron DeSantis or how dare Kaylee or whomever not be loyal to Trump? Hold on a second. Is it a primary, anything goes? Or is it there's loyalty to Trump that has to be a principle that all people keep? I, 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 we need to, it, it can't be both. It can't be, you know, this is a free for all. Interesting, isn't it? There's that when when Trump does something that I can't sit here and tell anybody that what it, does anyone want to take the position that what he said was fair or or a, or a reasonable thing to do? Why, why do that? Why lash out at Kelly McEnany? She didn't even do anything. It'd be one thing if she was like, I'm pro DeSantis, and I okay, I mean, I still think he shouldn't. Do, she just ran a poll, and it was a poll that showed Trump kicking DeSantis's butt, and that's not good enough. That's that's She's not also- acceptable new in television and i think you can criticize kaylee mcenany certainly like you can criticize anybody in a public sphere we get ripped all the time for everything under the sun not being good at television is not the way that i would choose to go after kaylee mcenany i mean kareen jean pierre is the white house press secretary right now and she can't even answer a basic question she's incompetent kaylee in front of a camera is a pretty good stud um, so the idea, oh, I'm going to attack one of the foremost steadma- steadfast defenders of my presidency and say she's not good enough on television and she's boring is really a strange attack angle. And, and as I've said before, with, uh, with the Kaylee thing, uh, with what, what's happened here, uh, to anyone out there, because sometimes I get this, so-and-so is being more fair on this. They'll say so-and-so is being more fair to Trump on this. Find me the person who has any significance in the conservative movement that's like, yeah, you know what's a really solid call? You know, taking a a cheap shot at your former press secretary over nothing. That's that's what the way this game is played. Show me that person and then we'll have that person come on the show and try to because what you see going on here, there's a lot of cowardice, Clay. People don't want to say anything that's going to get anybody right now upset at them. And I don't want to upset anybody either. But we're going to tell the truth. We're going to tell the truth as we see it. And, you know, that's out of respect for the audience, out of respect for what our mission is here every day. And all I'm saying is I just want Trump to focus on the things that matter that he wants to do for the country. I want to I want Trump talking. Okay, he mentioned how about another tweet on how he's going to I mean, I keep saying tweet truth. I can't keep it all. But how about another post? on what he's going to do you know, with uh, with the anchor, you know, anchor baby situation and birthright citizenship? Get into the details a little bit. How about answering the question, why didn't you do it when you were in office for the first four years, right? Use the platform for something that matters to the American people. Taking a shot, taking shots at people who have been nothing but loyal and on your team, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand how anybody thinks that's a good move. Buck, how did this show make national news last week everywhere? By me asking DeSantis whether he would pardon Trump in the event that he became president of the United States. A couple of days before that, I came on the show and I said, as a matter of principle and precedent, I think every Republican candidate running for office should say that they would pardon Donald Trump if they became president of the United States. I don't know how there could be a more Trump statement than that. I am literally saying on the air that I want everyone running for the Republican nomination to pledge that they will not allow Donald Trump to be locked up and they will immediately free him from all federal charges as a precondition to even getting elected. Look, I, I yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a, uh, an important point. Is a big deal. But I, but I also, I come back to this and I just say, this is not 2016. Um, what you got for a lot of the Trump presidency was people saying, Shut up. He knows what he's doing. And and really, there are a lot of folks who won't say this openly, but they'll talk about the 4D chess and they mean it in a snide way. 
Like everyone always justified everything Trump did because it was for D chess. Well, now we've suffered a bad election in 2018, a bad presidential election. Really wasn't that bad, actually, outside of the presidency, if you look at what happened in the House, etc. But a bad 2020 election um, in that regard and a dis- highly disappointing 2022 election. So we can either discuss what would make things better and what can lead to victory. You know, this is about an economy that lets you pay your bills. This is about the freedoms, the constitutional freedoms we have in this country that we need to protect with everything we have. This is about your family, your kids, your grandkids, what's best for them. And if we're not going to have a discussion about what's true in all of that, then what's really what's really the point? Just going along because we had a great victory in 2016 isn't going to serve us in 2024. And and I, I, I put it out there, again, uh, anyone who wants to call in and tell us that, uh, you know, Clay and I obviously see the Kaylee thing very similarly, but, and, and I've, I've told you this, that the advisors around Trump are not, uh, they're not politically astute or virtuous. Just going to say it. The advisors around him right now are, I think, leading him astray. I know who they are. I know them personally, not all of them, but some of them. And it's a bad scene. And we can keep going down this road. Reverend says, don't criticize, don't talk. I'm not taking a side in terms of who should win the primary. I'm not saying that I don't think Trump. I'm just saying we're going to call balls and strikes as they come through. And isn't that what we should be doing? Otherwise, otherwise, I mean, I don't just mean us. I mean the whole country. Isn't that why we're having a primary to see how this all plays out? So for me, it's just disappointing. I want to hear better things. I want to hear more about policy. I want to hear what the president, uh, former president and possible future president Trump would do to turn things around. I started off the show, Clay, with 18 percent of the country right now, 18 percent. And they're probably just the crazy libs who are happy we have a Democrat president. Right. It's basically 20 percent of the country is AOC style left wing insane. That's the problem. What's going on in the country and the lunatics. Kaylee is on our team. She's on the team of everybody listening. She's on President Trump's team. Let's keep it real. And remember this. Joe Biden is the weakest potential incumbent president to ever run for, I, I, I think statistically, to ever run for election in our lives. The focus should all, I think, be on him. That's the way to win. Talking about the Kaylee McEnany tweet truth from Donald Trump that ricocheted throughout social media last night. I'm going through now. It appears Trump may have deleted that truth. Now, of course, the challenge with deleting anything is you don't actually have anything vanish. Uh, And he didn't, you know, come back out and say, hey, you know what? Maybe that was an uncharitable uh, off the cuff take that was not rooted in any uh, any tangible reality, but he may have replaced it. A lot of you want to weigh in, and by replaced, I mean erased it.